you. Today, officials with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration will resume their investigation of a crane collapse in Orlando that happened yesterday. Three people were hurt. Now, we first brought you this story yesterday during Good Day Orlando as breaking news. And Fox 35's Nestor Motto joined us live at the Advent Health construction site in Orlando where it happened. In fact, Nestor, you broke the story for us yesterday. And at some point, that crane is going to be removed. That's right. If you were watching Good Day Orlando yesterday, you saw it here first. And we do expect OSHA back. As you can see, that parts of that failed crane are still hanging there. So that may be moved today. But I do want to show you new a new view this morning of the collapse. This is dash cam video from attorney Brett M. Bressler as he was driving on I-4. It seems that the crane was picking up a concrete column when it just dropped at the construction site here at the Advent Health Orlando where crews were working on a parking garage yesterday morning. We were first on the scene. I actually ran over and used my cell phone to capture video of a man being rushed off on a stretcher. Finrock Construction confirms one of their workers was hit in the head by flying debris. Another man was zapped when power lines came down. Finrock is a Central Florida company overseeing the project and they tell us that Maxim Crane is the owner and operator of the crane. Now we talked to witnesses on the ground. It started breaking, and then all the, the, the crane pulled over like it is right now, and then wires started flying and knocking down other wires. It sounded like gunshots the way it was like all the wires were hitting stuff like pow, pow. All right, so this morning I've actually seen some security driving around. They're trying to secure the area as we await OSHA to come back and look through and try to figure out what happened. In the meantime, in the next 30 minutes, I talked to a crane expert who gives us his take on what could have happened here. I'm live in Orlando. Nestor Mato, Fox 35 News.